Hi pre-prep, it's Miss Canoe again here from Voice Prep in the Ezra Jack Keats classroom. Today I'll be reading There's a Bug on My Book. So let's get started. All right, pre-prep friends. So the title of today's book is There's a Bug on My Book. And the author and the illustrator was John Himmelman. Before we get started, let's sing a quick song. Let's get your fingers ready like you're about to march like an ant. And it goes like this. The ants in the grass go march, 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 march. The ants in the grass go march, march, march all day long. Maybe you can get your hands ready like this and we're going to blink them like fireflies. The fireflies in the night go blink, 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 blink. The fireflies in the night go blink, blink, blink all night long. Hmm, is there any other bug you think we could do? Hmm, I see a grasshopper. Maybe we can be a hopping grasshopper. The grasshopper in the garden goes hop, 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 hop. The grasshopper in the garden goes hop, hop, hop all day long. All right, now we're going to get started reading our book today. And I have some special surprises, so I'm going to try to make this book a little more interactive. And I have some pretend items that we're going to use to pretend like there's actual bugs on the book. So let's use our imagination. Get started with, there's a bug on my book. Oh, and you know what, everyone, let's take a deep breath in. And out. And let's... Pretend we're outside on the grass. It says, let's read outside in the fresh air and sunshine. I know a lot of my friends are probably spending a lot of time at home inside, but for this book, we're going to pretend like we're outside, maybe in the park, maybe in a garden, wherever you would like to be. We'll lay the book right here on the grass. Hey, there's a bug on my book. It's a beetle move it along with a puff of breath all right everyone get your breath ready take a deep breath in and breathe on the beetle move it along let's see what happens it opens its wings and takes off with a buzz beetles fly wow a snake here's my pretend snake here slithering right across the page looking for a tasty beetle it says tilt the book so the snake can slide into the grass then lay it back down you know what i have some green paper here let's pretend like this is the grass i'm gonna tilt the book oh slide our snake away say bye bye snake <gasps> oh Here's a snake again, and this time it's coiled up. Oh, it's coiling itself around the page. And it looks like it might stay a while. Snakes coil. That means it kind of goes around and around like a circle. Can you say coil and go around and around with your hands? That's what it looks like to coil. Whoa! Uh grasshopper just landed let's give it a nudge to move it along here's my pretend grasshopper let's see if i can get it to jump away mm, one more time mm, one more time let's see if we can get it off the page this time ready All right, well, let's give it a little nudge to move it along and see what's next. <gasps> it's gone in a blink. Grasshoppers hop. A spider must have fallen from the tree above. Pick the book up and tip the top of the book towards you until the spider hangs down. Let's see if we can get the spider to hang down. Let's pick up the book, tilt the top. I got my spider hanging down, my pretend spider. Oh, 
The spider rides a string of silk to the ground. Spiders hang. Now we lay the book down. Now what? A worm just crawled up from the ground. It probably doesn't want to be here. Let's push it off. No squishing. So we're going to use gentle hands. I'm going to push the worm, pretend worm away. Twitch and squirm. Off the page it goes. Worms wiggle. Can you wiggle your arms like this too? Ooh, not a bug. It's a slug slowly gliding by its trail of slime. Let's just wait for it to leave. Okay, now let's see. I do have some slime I tried to make. Let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, my slime got a little bit dry, but let's see. Let's just wait for it to leave. Slugs slide. Can you slide your hands? Maybe you can slide your arms down on the floor, but it's not very fast. Time to be patient. Let's see if I can get my pretend slug to slide. Ooh. Oh, it's hard to slide, but here we go. Maybe I can have it a little do 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 Look at that trail of slime that it leaves on the pretend grass. Oh, finally, it's just about gone. That sure took a while. Hey, a couple of pill bugs. Hey, I remember we read about a pill bug. Do you remember Hank from our other story? Yeah, he's a pill bug. This will be fun. Let's give them a light tap and watch them curl up into little balls. Let's see. So I have my pretend pill bug. And let's see if we give it a little tap. It curls up into a ball or like a little circle. So let's see, let's, can you help me tap these little pill bugs? Ready? Tap, tap. Then tip up the bottom of the book so they roll into the grass. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the bottom, tilt it up. There we go. Let's see what happens. Whee! No wonder they're called they're also called roly-polies, roly-polies. Pill bugs curl, just like my little pretend curly. Let's see if I can get it to roll away. Roll. Oop. Lay the book back down. And plop, lands a tree frog. Lift up the book and flip it over so the pages face the ground. Will the frog drop off? Hmm. Let's see. Do you think the frog will drop off? I think my pre my pretend frog here is... I don't know. I think it's going to drop off. But let's see if I let go, tilt it over. Ah! Mine fell off. But let's see what happens with the frog on the book. Nope! Oh, tree frog stick. And looks like this one is stuck tight. Lay the book back down. All right, let's see if we can get my froggy to jump away. Here we go. Jump, 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 jump off the page. All right. Here come some ants. Here are my pretend rice ants. Lots of them. Maybe they will leave on their own or maybe not. Use your hand to guide them off the top of the page. All right, so I'm going to get my fake grass back. Let's see if I can gently glide the rice ants off the page. Gently, gently, gently. We don't want to hurt them. <gasps> off goes the army of ants. Ants, march.
Yikes! The frog is still here. Goodbye, ant. Nom, 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 nom. Eating the ants. <gasps> oh, no. The snake is back. Is it hungry, too? What do you think? Goodbye, frog. Goodbye, snake. Slithering snake. Hello, beetle. You're back. You won't believe who was just here. Oh my goodness. Who was just here in our bug book? Do you remember one of the bugs or creatures that was in our book? Well, let's see if we remember. Do you remember what this one is called? It starts with a B, B, B. Yep, that's beetles. We have our snakes, G, G, grasshoppers, spiders. This one was a earthworm. Our slugs, P, P, pill bugs. This was a t -t tree frog. Our ants. And let's see here. What you see is what you get. All of the animals in this book are close to their actual sizes. They're commonly found in the US and Canada. Look for them in your own backyard or a nearby park. So even though we have we don't have any school and you might not be able to go to the playground as much, if you do get the chance to go outside and get some fresh air, keep your eyes peeled, turn on those looking eyes and see if you find any bugs. It says, what's a bug? In everyday language, an insect is a bug. Insects do not have a backbone. Instead, they have a hard outer shell. Their body is made of three parts the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. All insects have, hmm, how many legs do you think insects have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. All insects have six legs. And these little things right here, those are called the antenna. They have two antenna. Almost all insects also have wings. And here it says how many legs? Is a spider an insect? To help you decide, count the legs. Let's see. So I have my pretend spider over here from earlier. Let's count these legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The spider has eight legs. But how many did we say insects have? That's right, insects are supposed to have six legs. So is this an insect? No, let's see. Then it's not an insect. It belongs to a group of animals called arachnids. Can you say that with me? Arachnids. In this book, there are three insects. Can you find them? Count their legs. So if you're watching this with a grown up or a sibling, your brother or sister, Let's see if you can go back in the video and figure out which of these tiny creatures in our book was an insect with how many legs? Six legs. That's right. And once you're done doing that, I want you to think about the different ways the insects move or the bugs moved or the creatures moved. And I want you to try and draw a picture and write some words about that too. All right. Thanks for joining for story time. See you next time.